Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, so if you need a website or a domain, then head over to squarespace.com forward slash Will's Whereabouts to save 10% on your first purchase. This man should not be allowed to use power tools. <laughs> what the f That's travelled about, what, 15 foot? 20 feet? 10 metres? <laughs> give Will the freedom to use his own tools but he's clearly not capable of using his own tools so I don't know what's we don't know how this works or I don't know how it works this is by far the most amount of progress that's been made on any day in this van build so far yes guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the van build oh god what the hell is going to happen today anyway if you didn't see the last van build video then the first attempt at trying to put the cladding up was an absolute Disaster. Someone passed me a shotgun. A bird's just shat on my cladding. I've just painted. What the fuck? Yeah. Nah. Oh my god. Not only did the birds take a dump on my freshly painted cladding, I also realized I hated the color and it was an absolute nightmare to put up because stupidly I painted the tongue and groove. Anyway, since that first attempt, many lessons have been learned along the way, which is exactly what this van build process has been for me a learning process the entire time. I've actually gone and bought some new cladding i know a lot of people said that i probably could have just sanded the old stain on the one that i had previously but these aren't actually as expensive as i thought they're only 15 pounds a pack so i know i might be wasting a bit of money but i may actually reuse the previous stain cladding on the back of the door or somewhere like that real quick a big thanks to today's video sponsor squarespace squarespace are an all-in-one website building platform that makes it really simple and easy to create a professional looking website in no time forget the days of computer coding and complicated systems squarespace has a user-friendly service with a no-nonsense drag and drop system that means creating your dream website is a walk in the park they have hundreds of website templates for you to choose from which makes getting started even easier whether you're looking to start your own blog page create a portfolio to share with clients or even set up an online shop all of this can be done effortlessly using squarespace they're offering you a 10 percent discount on all of their services so if you want to give it a try then head over to squarespace.com for a 14 day free trial and when you're ready you can use the code wills whereabouts at checkout to save 10 percent on your first purchase look at this the tools are out the sun is out i'm ready for this let's get this cladding in today and then potentially might be able to get the flooring in as well We're gonna have a little Google and see how to use this table saw because it's absolutely lethal. Flip the switch on. Get a feel for how the machine reacts. A few moments later. I can't do it. This man should not be allowed to use power tools. That piece of wood literally just went flying over here. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna look at it. Oh my god, it's travelled an absolute mile. That's travelled about what 15 foot? 20 feet? 10 meters? <laughs> oh god. You're gonna cut it. Right. I thought I would give Will the freedom to use his own tools, but he's clearly not capable of using his own tools. So. I don't know what's... We don't know how this works, or I don't know how it works. We're going freehand now. Or I say we. <laughs> Dad is. He doesn't trust my tools. I'm asking Dan the questions so I don't cock this one up. Then go down. Oh fuck it now. It's gonna grip though. Yeah. And when it grips, just just be just go with it. 
<laughs> this is my technique. Right, you holding that in, yeah? Yeah. Uh. Right. That's how you're meant to do it. No? I mean, it does the job. It's not the best hole saw in the world, but it'll do. So we've just cut out the two down lights for the bed area. And now we're ready, I think, to fix up this first piece. Just get on that centre line. That's it. Perfect. Oh, I won't do that tight. countersink bit no. Are you going backwards? No. You sure? Yeah. Would you <laughs> just like to explain, Will? Apparently I was going backwards, but I'm pretty sure I wasn't. Are you sure? Yeah. 100%? Yeah. I don't think I was. Go ahead, try that. Yeah, it's the same. No. <laughs> I mean, it's... It's not as deep, is it? It's probably wearing out a little bit. It's because the wood's softer. That's what it is, is it? I think so. It's the soft wood, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you reckon? Is that not a thing with wood? Yeah. So we're just repeating the same process, getting all the, uh, the cladding together, drilling through all of them. So much quicker to do that. No idea why I didn't do it the first time. Probably because I didn't have Dan here. Also, marking it all up, going to cut the ends off. But one thing I wanted to show to you and explain to you, as you can see, we've obviously covered over the fan because what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out afterwards. So we're going to get a multi-tool and just cut out the shape of the fan, which will make things a bit easier. There are different ways you can do it. You can obviously either put one piece up here, cut it here, and then put your piece here. But we just figured this way would be a better way to do it. Yeah, man. I got, sick. I got to get one of these for sure. What are you like? <laughs> How do you not get it in your eyes? Oh, I went slightly off on this one because the measurement was slightly over. <laughs> You didn't tell me that. I didn't, really, I didn't even think, mate. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Do it that there way. There we go. I'm wondering why I'm getting it all in my eyes. If I flip it round and do it the same way as Dan, I don't get it in my eyes. There we go. Awesome. We're a bit over. The shroud's gonna cover it. What Dan's talking about, the shroud, because I don't know what he keeps saying about the shroud, he means the cover. What is a shroud? That's a shroud. This is a cover. <laughs> in, my, in my head. Because the cover for the Max Air fan sits in like that. So, if I am offline, Jesus. Or there's any big gaps, it'll all be covered by the cover, or as Dan says, the shroud.
just stolen Will's camera. He don't know. He's over there, cutting some plastic, shroudy, covery thing. He's doing a good job. He's doing a fantastic job. You should be proud, William. You should be proud of yourself. The cladding is in. It is a Christmas miracle. After the last time trying to get this bastard in, finally it's up and I have to say, it's looking bloody good, especially with all of the lights on and the Max Air fan in, also with the LED light going on. I couldn't be any happier to finally have the ceiling up and almost 90% finished. The other 10% is gonna be giving this a lick of paint, but I'm still unsure of the exact color that I'm going for, but we'll figure that out at a later stage in the van build. For now though, with the absolute nightmare that it was last time to get it up, I'm just thankful that it's up in place and it's looking good. Although it does feel a little bit like a sauna in here. It has completely completely transformed the way the van feels and looks because obviously I can no longer see the industrial metal foil that I had on the underside of this it just gives the van a little bit of character and now once again my motivation levels have increased slightly now that a job has been done where I can actually see a physical change in the van lights wise we've got two lights over the bed four lights over the kitchen slash living area and then also this light that comes on the max air fan and then that switches on and off with a little switch here and then you can close the max air fan like this to stop any light coming in so we're getting there slowly slowly another big job that's been done is my quarter light window is now fixed from when i smashed that in scotland national insurance finally came round the other day and replace the window which is all good happy days i just need to put the cover on it down there and then that will all be back hunky dory the next few jobs which will be in the upcoming videos is to get the flooring done and to also install a swivel seat i gotta say a massive massive thank you to dan the man who came and helped me get the cladding up it took us a whole day to get it up but it's up done and almost finished. I'm gonna end the video here guys. The van build is back in full swing and hopefully over the next coming weeks, I'll be able to make more progress on this thing to get on the road and into Europe because that is the end goal. To travel around France, Scotland, France, Scotland, already been Scotland, Italy, Germany, Austria, Scandinavia, and all those places. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know a lot of you missed the van build, but we're back, hopefully grinding out and cracking on with a few more jobs on this build. As always, I will catch you guys in the next video.